empires on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. We've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com. My friends, Alex Jones here to tell you about some of the most important information concerning you and your family's health. Radiation levels have more than doubled in the last 60 years in the Northern Hemisphere from all of the nuclear testing and radiological accidents. Radioactive contamination is now in most of the food supply. There's only two ways to avoid this. Move south of the equator or properly protect your thyroid with nascent iodine. Looking to protect my family, I've done deep research. Nascent iodine is the purest, cleanest, absolute best form of iodine to protect yourself and your family. It's made right here in the USA, completely non-GMO. I searched out the best quality and now have developed a double strength form of nascent iodine exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Nascent iodine is on record as one of the only safe ways to detox from fluoride poisoning. Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Secure your super high quality nascent iodine today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. You want answers? Well, so does he. Live from the InfoWars.com studios, it's Alex Jones. This hour is brought to you by the best storable food company out there, bar none, mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex. You'll find the specials and great deals, delicious and easy to prepare, put together with GMO-free crops, storable for up to 25 years. The globalists are counting on you to be dependent on them. It's time for us to be dependent on ourselves and as self-sufficient as possible. Squirrels hide nuts. Ants hide food for the winter. This stuff lasts 25 years. It's what I've chosen for my family. MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, lastly, before we go to Jakari Jackson with an update on uh, the Hunger Games, uh, excuse me, I mean the gladiatorial Roman events, I mean, excuse me, the arena battles uh, going on here in the imploding empire. I mean, Super Bowl 48 between the uh, donkeys uh, and the uh, flying rats. That's the teams, right? The donkeys and the flying rats, or is it, or is it the dead horses or the stud of the devil uh, and uh, the uh, flying uh, wombats? I don't know. We're going to be talking to Jakari Jackson, who's been in Times Square. A bunch of reports they're filing live directly to PrisonPlanet.tv. The reports to YouTube, to InfoWars.com, to PrisonPlanet.com, to the Nightly News. This Sunday, I'll be live, 4 to 6 p.m. But we're going to have him on for about 10 minutes. I'm going to get back into all the really important news. Then Joel Skousen is joining us. 
because the economy, stock markets are going down big time worldwide, especially in Europe, and it's all on currency devaluations. That's what's happening. Turkey's in a lot of trouble right now, and that affects the rest of Europe and us here. A lot of big economic news. The latest on trying to completely get rid of national sovereignty and complete the journey into the North American Union. That's coming up. Uh, but please don't forget, we have developed with Dr. Group and nutritionist and pharmacist and others, three of the most powerful supplements out there. The truly nascent proprietary survival shield iodine that we've got more in supply of that is unlike any other iodine out there and does amazing things for my body, I know. Just take the challenge, regardless you're supporting the broadcast, and then you'll learn why there's so much listener-generated uh, enthusiasm, not even hype, because it simply is that amazing. And then you've got uh, Fluoride Shield. It's really the best deal we've got. It's got the nascent iodine in it, but it's double the size in the container uh, and has five other key ingredients in it uh, that are known to, to detoxify the body and protect the body from fluoride and so much more. And then Super Male Vitality, that we're going to come out with a female version with it just tweaked a little bit, but quite frankly, that's a gimmick, and I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, the, 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 we find the Super Male Vitality works on women even better uh, in Dr. Grip's practice. And so this is a new souped-up uh, formula, and it just blows away the competition. Infowarslife.com, good for men or women. Consult your physician if you have any medical issues, but believe me, believe me, it's be so easy for other people to put out high-quality supplements. They're just too cheap and don't care and have an instinct to not provide good stuff. I mean, I'm not knocking competition. Just it, I can't believe now that I've really researched this for years and now that I manufacture and source the products and look around how hard it is to get quality products and now other people are just full of crud with what they're selling. This stuff's the real deal. Infowarslife.com and you can call and ask any questions or order uh, via the phone, 888-253-3139. That's 888-253-3139. And don't forget, your purchases of the books, the videos, Strategic Relocation, the book and the film, all my other documentaries, uh, just the, you know, the Great Patriot, Molon Labe, Come and Take It t-shirts, uh, all of it, it supports the broadcast and then gives you tools to inform yourself to a higher level and inform those that are around you. So the fight is now, ladies and gentlemen, InfoWarsLife.com. Takes you right to the supplement area on InfoWarsStore.com, but both take you to the same place, just like MadeIn1776.com takes you to our exclusively Made in America apparel. Some of the other shirts uh, we have are made like in Mexico and places like that, uh, and they're about half the price, too. But you want Made in America? I know I do. Uh, and they're higher quality, too, so MadeIn1776.com. The George Washington bronze and nickel uh, belt buckles, made in America flags. Everybody compliments the shirt I wear all the time when I'm out and about. And that's the uh, golf shirt that's made in America. The, the golf shirt that's made in America that's black and says made in 1776, the logo. Um, in fact, if you go back to the page, you can click it and it's right there. That golf shirt, when I wear it, gets compliments walking down the street. It is the best looking, I looked at over 100 golf shirts we had shipped in here in made in America companies. And, and I, I like this the best, and everybody else likes it the best. And that's our first golf shirt right there. That'd be like 80 bucks in most stores. You know why? Because the shirt cost me like 20 bucks. So it's $49.95, and you end up really supporting the broadcast uh, with that super high-quality golf shirt. Okay, so uh, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That supports the transmission. So we can send Jakari Jackson to the West Coast to get the radiation readings 10 times normal and confirm that others got them at 14 times normal and radioactive fish. So we can send Jakari Jackson uh, to the Super Bowl with uh, Josh Owens. We can send Josh Owens and Anthony Gucciardi and Weldon Henson to the NSA to draw attention to that and make national news that they don't like us outside their building pointing cameras at them while they illegally surveil us. I will hire even more great reporters, and I will have reporters somewhere everywhere. You know, every week we'll go somewhere if we have the funds. We don't have the funds right now, but we're getting there. So thank you all for your support. That's why it's so essential to also support our local AM and FM affiliates to become sponsors to spread the word about those broadcasts or to support the local sponsors and let them know why you're supporting them. I mean, we're in a war here. If you hear us on an AM or FM over 160 around the country, you got to stop on the side of the street. you got to go into business and tell people, tune into this show. That's how we're reaching people. And despite a media blackout over the years, we've risen from obscurity to very high profile, which is extremely dangerous. But I'm going to go for it all, folks. 
I'm not looking for treasure. I'm not looking for money. I'm looking for freedom. I would give my life right now to bring down the New World Order. I want to be clear about that. It's not even a question. If I had to hit a button that would defeat the New World Order but kill me at the same time, I would hit that button instantly, as fast as I could. I wouldn't sit there and wait one second. Boom, I'd hit that button. Because I want a future for our children. Now, I don't want to die at the same time. And I'm not planning anything violent because I don't believe that's the most effective thing to do. I know it's not. That's not a cop-out. It's info war. They want us to get violent. We're winning the hearts and minds right now. Now, Jakari Jackson is there in Times Square. Jakari, first off, what have you experienced in New Jersey last night? You're going back there today. You're going to be at the Super Bowl covering it live. You're going to be inside, so after you can cover it and give us your take on the radio on Monday, I'm going to be on Sunday, 4 to 6. But tell me about all the experiences you've had so far, the great video reports you've been filing to PrisonPlanet.tv that are up on InfoWars right now, where you got pretty uh, fired up last night, and, and some of the questions you're going to be out there asking uh, coming up. Uh, Jakari Jackson from New York City. Hey, Alex, we're out here exposing the police state and the distraction that is the Super Bowl. And you're talking about I got fired up last night. I, I blew up my voice two minutes into my first report. I came out here and pulled an Alamo. But we continued on. We're out here trying to talk to the people, wake some people up. We talked to people uh, about a very important topic. We'll talk about the police state here in a second, Alex. But we just a moment ago shot a man on the street talking about a very important topic, that being global warming. As you can see, Alex, maybe you can't see on the iPhone, but it's snowing out here. Yeah, pan around. York. Have Josh pan yeah, around. Yeah. So give, him, give him a little look there, Josh. So it's snowing out here in New York. You see all these people in their hats and scarves. And uh, we, we've heard about the icebreakers getting stuck in ice. Uh, Art Acevedo, the Austin police chief, is warning people not to drive in the city of Austin because of black ice on the road. But I'll oh, thank you, sir. Uh, a viewer just walked by. But. They're, they're saying that you need to pay your carbon taxes, so I want everybody out there to pay your carbon taxes to Al Gore because I'm here in my scarf and my Under Armour, and Josh has on uh, some Under Armour as well, so pay your, uh, your carbon taxes to Al Gore. Now, let's talk about the police state. There's a, a huge, huge police presence out here. Uh, we've seen uh, guys walking around with canines. We've seen the, uh, the temporary viewing devices, all the screens and stuff. There are helicopters flying above. I don't know if we can see any right now. But there's a huge police presence right here in Times Square. And we're out here in Times Square because they won't allow people to congregate outside of the Super Bowl. They don't want you to be out there because the FT has to build another giant uh, shrine to themselves out there. So the fans are out here. But when we get to the Super Bowl, Alex, that's when the real tyranny is going to come in. Because we're out here in New York. And there's a lot of talk about stop and frisk, people being stopped and frisked and pretty much molested here on the streets in New York. But if you go to New Jersey, you will willfully submit to being stopped and frisked when you go into the Super Bowl. You're going to be patted down. You're going to have to bring in all your uh, personal effects in in a clear baggie. And uh, I think it's to the point where you might as well just opt out, uh, opt in rather for a proctology exam because that's what's going to take to keep this country safe. Well, that's right, being sarcastic there. You actually ran into people that would accept a proctology exam. Uh, or a cavity search for their safety uh, last night. That video is up on InfoWars.com. And I know they have stop and frisk violating the Fourth Amendment 300, 400,000 times a year in New York. Uh, have you been stopped and frisked uh, yet? Because I know they're reporting in Georgia. There's a new video out where the police actually now pull people's pants down randomly uh, and, and are doing that. Have you seen any of that there, Jakari? No, I have not personally been stopped and frisked. The police are in pretty good behavior out here. We encountered a police officer who was a viewer. We didn't have a chance to speak to him. He just said, hey, guys, and he walked on about his business. So the police are out here. I'll, I'll give them that much that they're pretty good, at least today. I don't know how they are in other areas. And I don't believe it's the Times Square area where uh, most of these stop and frisk take place. They're kind of out in the uh, the other boroughs. So, you know, I haven't been stopped and frisked, and hopefully I won't, but I definitely will uh, be TSA-style molested when I go to the Super Bowl. How about flying up to uh, New York and New Jersey? Where'd you fly into? I forget. I believe it was uh, Newark. Josh, it was Newark. Yeah, we flew into uh, to Newark. Newark Airport. Liberty. Yes, and then we came down here. Uh, we moved to uh, our hotel, which is just a few miles from the Super Bowl, and now we're out here in Times Square, about 30 minutes from our hotel. All right. Now, expanding on that, now what happened with the security when you flew in? What'd they do? Well, when we came in, you know, of course we uh, we opted out when we were at the airport. 
we got patted down another lady who was awake and uh, quite frankly aware of what was going on. The police say in our country, she opted out as well. I was very encouraged uh, that she did that. I didn't have time to interview her because we had to get on the plane. So now we're out here. Uh, we went to uh, the stadium, the MetLife Stadium. We were, well, we approached the security guard. We asked him where the tailgate was. He said, man, there's no tailgate out here. I like, you know what's wrong. He's pretty much the, to the extent like, what's wrong with you? Why would you ask where the tailgate is? You can't have a tailgate.